Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video. If you guys want to get a personal reading, this uh, the link for to book a reading with me, I still have slots available this week, um, is in the description box below. This is a love reading for Virgos only, a Virgo only channel. So if you have Virgo placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you can definitely listen. Just remember, some of the messages may or may not resonate. So take what fits. Hello, everyone. Hope you all had a lovely holiday. Okay. Virgo, let's take a look and see what the love messages are for you going forward here. Okay, Virgo. Past position. Queen of Swords. Present. King of Cups. The challenge is the Four of Pentacles. Driving the reading, the Six of Cups. And just so you know, you guys, this reading will be for December. Okay. Crowning is the Seven of Swords. Near future is the High Priestess. Your advice, the Fool. External to the other person is the Hanged Man. Hopes and Fears. Hmm. The Five of Wands and the Outcome is... <laughs> the uh knight of wands and the three of pentacles okay so bottom of the deck the tower in the reverse virgo listen okay let me just say real quick libra gemini aquarius cancer scorpio pisces <clears throat> um let me just turn this down a little okay so virgo i feel like there's something here that it feels like with the tower in reverse, the overall message is that something here um, is like disaster trying to be averted. Somebody is trying to keep something from falling apart, okay? There's a fear of change. There's a fear of letting something go. There's a fear of something being ruined here. Um, <clears throat> there's a desire here for security okay um so i don't know how that relates to you it could be just the energy here uh it could be somebody you're connecting with or just you in your life in general um you're trying to avoid something or someone at least is trying to avoid something falling apart completely and with this four of pentacles here i feel like there's an energy of still holding on to something could be a belief it could be a relationship it could be some ideas okay let me just see what the love messages are here okay children your love life is being affected by children somebody may be holding on because they want to keep trying to have children um maybe holding on so that there isn't a breakup with children or trying to avoid children being affected by some type of breakup or something that happened in the past or some information okay okay love yourself first hmm your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and okay these cards are sticking together so retreat and engagement mm -hmm. So Virgo, I, I definitely feel like you're in this position right now where you're just trying to do the best you can for yourself in whatever area or however that might mean for you. But I do feel like somebody really does want to try to have something like a committed relationship with you. Now, there's a queen of swords in the past so that might have been you or you might have given somebody a harsh truth there might have been somebody else involved in a relationship um <clears throat> meaning there could have been a third party um for some of you there may have been <clears throat> kind of feels like um a, maybe somebody else you were involved with that was an air sign i just feel like there's air energy and the Queen of Swords energy comes through as someone who, you know, this is an unmarried person. This is someone who may be divorced. OK, 
okay? Um, someone who's a truth teller. In the reverse, it could be very cold at times, maybe very rigid in their logic, dishonest, or even downright unkind. Now let's see here. Okay. So the sun is here. Leo energy. Okay. Hmm. So I see a queen of swords here in the past trying to bring some light into a situation that was very stressful. Trying to stay positive in a very stressful situation and an anxiety inducing situation in the past. Trying to... Uh, somebody may have been having nightmares and or bad dreams. Um, somebody trying to just not go to sleep at night and try to just stay up until the sun comes up. Uh, trying to get through the night, I just heard. There might have been some depression or grief or just trying to get through depression. Trying to have that po the positive vibes, good vibes and dealing with the situation. Just waiting for the dawn, waiting for the sun to come out again. I can see clearly now. Yeah, look, seven of wands, really like fighting to hold on, fighting to get through a very difficult situation in the past, some grief or stress. Okay, so the present energy is the king of cups here. So the king of cups showing up male or female energy will be very present for you in the month of December. Um, I feel like there's somebody here who has a strong desire to hold on to you and doesn't want to let go <clears throat> of something. And this could be what the tower in the reverse was, that there's this person is trying to avoid things falling apart and having a very possessive energy here. But it's hard to hold on to something. Let's see here. Show me what this King of Cups energy is. Oh, okay. King of Swords as well. There may be competition. There may be two people fighting for your affection. One could be spurring the other on. There could be somebody from the past who was trying to get at the truth to find out if another person had somebody else, you know, with them or in their life. Like competition. Little drama here. Look, <laughs> here's the tower in the upright. Whew. I feel Virgo overall message is I feel you've got someone in the past here um, who is current, um, is showing up here. Um, they don't want to lose you to another person. They might feel like there's somebody else in your life. There could be somebody else in your life who's telling you to let go of this person. Okay, and it's telling you that this is like, this is like, a, this other person in your life is not going to be any good, is no good for you. Um, this person is just going to just mess up your world. Are they are just going to just destroy everything in your world? I don't know, Virgo, if you've got someone that is in your life trying to talk you out of getting involved with someone and that other person the one who's not the one who's trying to come in is not trying to let go okay they want to hold on and really virgo i feel like all you're trying to do is just love yourself right now i mean you definitely like i feel you're kind of torn because like you're yeah i'm gonna love myself yeah i'm taking care of myself you know, and I'm respecting myself now, but at the same time, there may be an element playing out here in December where somebody comes in that you really would like to have time with to see if something can, if it can go somewhere. And I feel like you've got somebody else who's going to be showing up here telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. Either don't take that person back or don't get involved with somebody new. Um, either they're telling you it's not time you got to be careful with children if children are involved wow interesting for some of you this could be your child telling you don't go back with that person okay so let's see what's driving the reading 
the Six of Cups. So, Virgo, there is some kind of reconciliation or reach out happening here from somebody in December. Okay. And then you got the moon here. So, oh my goodness, Virgo. You know, it feels like to me that these are like um, change. This somebody's coming in and purposefully making, trying to voluntarily make a change here to try to reconcile with you. Somebody's coming in to try to either apologize or get reacquainted with you or reconnect with you. Okay, there's somebody here who's been thinking about you. You are on their mind. You will be on their mind in December. Let's see. Huh. And the Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh. You're getting a visit. A hot, lusty, sexual kind of visit coming in from somebody here. There's mystery here. I feel like this person is coming in. They want to know where you've been, what you've been doing. Um, the moon can be a card that represents sometimes deception or things are not really what they seem. And somebody's seeking to get clarity. Um, there's things that they don't know or things that they can't see and they don't want that like they've been trying to trust their gut or trust their intuition about you or about what's happening in a connection here but it feels mostly like they're going to come in to get the information like they're going to physically come in not just talk to you but physically physically come in to see you or to to connect with you to try to get the information like face to face. It kind of feels like this person is coming in like, um, like they're, they're going to make this decision and just do it without your, <laughs> without your permission. So they might just show up somewhere, wherever you might be. Okay. Because this person thinks that there's, first of all, in their head what the reason why they're like what their thought process is is that there's deception they might feel like you're you have somebody else i feel like they're coming in to get some answers they want answers from you and from like what's going on maybe some of you just kind of like retreated maybe you're dating somebody else maybe you didn't say anything to somebody and i feel like this person's really got their eye on you <laughs> virgo so What's crowning down on those seven of swords? This person feels like you ran away from them. Let's take a look here. Yep, six of swords. Going from the seven, reducing to the six. So it kind of feels like they think you moved on and they don't want you to move on. They're not ready to accept this. Now, maybe some of you didn't tell this person. I'm not seeing any ghosting going on here. I don't. I don't, I don't feel like maybe you didn't s explain yourself, but I don't see you like ghosting. Maybe you just had, if for some of you, if there's somebody else you could be connecting with in December. Um, somebody, maybe you don't feel like you need to tell them. <clears throat> There might be something like where some of you are like, well, I don't owe anybody an explanation about what I'm doing. I'm loving myself first. I'm respecting myself. Yeah, this person wants, to, listen, three of swords reversed here on the four of pentacles. This person does not want to get their heart broken by you. They want to heal something here with you. Is it because there's somebody else? Possibly they could be coming in out of ego. But I really don't feel like that here with the Three of Swords because it's in the reverse. So this is apology. Um, they want to recover this loss, okay? Some type of, maybe something might have fallen apart in the past or at some point, okay? Um, yeah, so I just, it's a strange feeling. I see here you have... The full card. So Virgo, it kind of feels to me like you're just like, you know, hey, I got a new path ahead of me. I'm taking the high road. 
Um, you're starting over in your life. You have new beginnings. This feels like this is your advice, you know, to pack your satchel and <laughs> take off, maybe go on a trip. Some of you are just getting your hope back again. But there's also here a message about taking a risk. So what does this mean for you? Let me see, because I'm going to take a look at the near future in just a moment, like going into like the third week of December. Okay, so you have the Ace of Swords. Um, part of this risk for you, Virgo, is to overcome some obstacles, okay? Um, but also maybe to communicate and be clear with someone if you don't want to have them back. Remember I was saying like for some of you, you maybe didn't feel the need to explain yourself. Somebody, they're going to come in seeking answers from you. Now, do you have to tell somebody else what you're doing? I mean, I don't know exactly. Some of you, maybe you should. And for others, maybe you don't need to. And that's nothing really that you need to worry about. Um, but it just depends on your situation because I don't know what each and every one of you are going through specifically, but your advice here is to be clear in any of your communication that you have, even if that communication is you're not sure, to be upfront and honest about that. Because I guess Virgo, for you, you know, if you feel like you need to be truthful in your communication and give someone clarity, um, if they come seeking answers, then I think that's okay because your integrity is there. I wanna see what else your advice is. Okay, you have the world. So some of you, this might be communication through the internet with someone. Um, this person might actually be trying to come to where you are. I kind of feel like here I'm just, they're just telling me, some of you have just mentally moved on. Maybe you haven't physically moved on, but you've mentally moved on in your heart and your mind. And I feel like this person is aware of this. They're going to try to come in and see you. Some of you may not want to see this person. Some of you may just try to communicate directly with them through text message or email or on the phone or something that you're moving on, that you're starting a new chapter in your life and you've already begun that and you don't want to rehash something here with someone. Okay, you're starting a new chapter. Now for others, I have to give it. For some, this may be your advice to hear this person out. Okay, to have clear cut communication, take a risk. If this person's coming in and they really want to heal something here and try to do the right thing by you, and that's something that you still want, or you still have a tiny bit of hope about that, um, not false hope, but true hope, um, then some of you may want to give this person an opportunity to talk and explain themselves. So it really is on you. It's really like what you have going on. For some of you, I know, you just, you're like, okay, yeah, I'll just tell them the truth, but I'm definitely not with this anymore. And that's fine. And then there's others of you who are like, well, maybe one more try. I feel like this person, they don't want to lose you. They don't, not fully. Are they ready to be with you fully? I'm not sure here. But I definitely know they don't want to lose you um, because that would be very painful for them. I feel like they're coming in, like that's a decision that they're making. They're coming towards you. Um, hmm. We'll get to them a little bit more in a second, but the near future here, Oh boy, you have the high priestess, so you're keeping quiet. You're kind of keeping hush-hush a little bit here. Um, you're not saying too much, Virgo. I feel like you're not trying to reveal your plans or your secrets. You, you, you're not voluntarily trying to reveal anything. And I feel like you're causing a bit of mystery with this person, you may have blocked them or maybe you went no contact. You're, you're stirring up or you're presenting a little bit of mystery and I think that has this person a bit intrigued but also very curious about what's going on here. 
some of you are listening, you know, we have the Torah, which is the tarot on here, listening to tarot card readings, trying to get some clarity, but you're keeping a little bit hush-hush. Yep, Queen of Pentacles, male or female, that's you. You're not revealing your plans. You're just kind of pulling back, loving yourself, retreating, um, committing. Some of you, um, a recommitment to yourselves. Okay. You've got justice, Libra and energy. So some of you are also just being fair with yourself. You feel like you may wind up if this person reaches out or says something to you, you may not say anything. You may stay hush hush because it may be that you're respecting yourself right now and doing right by yourself. You don't want to communicate. You don't, I don't feel like you're purposely keeping secrets from anyone. I just kind of feel like you're in this place where maybe you've healed some past things and now um, you're just trying to do what's best for you, what's right for you with the justice card, you know? Some of you are also trying to create a cause and effect situation, you know, uh, consequences. Some of you might be doing that, um, but also trying to seek out like a win-win solution for all. And for some of you, that, that means not engaging with this person until you have harmony in your mind until you have clear-cut balance and your words are chosen purposefully um, not reactively so I feel like a lot of you um, you want to be truthful you want to be fair um, but you're holding back from saying anything just yet okay Ten of Wands, so some of you just kind of feel like you just want to get rid of some kind of burden. It's exhausting. You're just trying to recover from something that feels tremendously exhausting. Now, this person, Virgo, they have the hangman, so... Mm, I think this person is seeing a situation much differently than how they saw it before in the past. Maybe a situation with you or just relationships in general. Um, a true new perspective. Queen of Wands. Okay, so that's fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, we have Pisces as well again. Um, I'm, I'm picking up Taurus also. Um, so I feel like this person is becoming bold and brave. This person may have been, had a struggle with committing. It could have been like commitment in general or just with you. But general or not is irrelevant right now. I feel like because this is your reading, this person had a hard time. They had an inability to commit. Um, they struggled with that. It felt overwhelming. Relationships, I kind of feel like felt overwhelming to them, but they really couldn't get their sea legs with you. They struggle to get their sea legs in a relationship with you. And it feels to me like now they've finally balanced things out. Okay. Um, they're able to like kind of multitask now, right? They're, they've been weighing their options, trying to figure out, I feel like for a long time. And now they come into like, I don't know, like, um, it just feels like they got their sea legs. I just keep hearing like sea legs. So, okay, now we have Queen of Cups. So this person, oh, okay. This person might have been juggling you and somebody else or others. They might have spent their whole life juggling the opposite, you know, juggling lovers. They took a look, I feel like, with this hangman as far as a new perspective and saw how 
well, yeah, they were really good at that, but what did it get them? It got them having surface relationships, okay? Um, and I feel like they're, ta they're seeing that now. Uh, it's a, it, I don't know if it's just too difficult for them. They just realize they just can't keep living their life that way. Or this person, for some of you, if there was a breakup or a separation, the, your person was juggling others, but n none of them were you. Like you pulled away. And, st and because of that, for some of you, you wound up standing out more than all the others because you didn't want this person anymore. For some of you, or you were given advice that this was just a bad connection for you, not necessarily a bad person. I mean, you know your person better, but that the connection was not healthy. And your person, I feel like, because we had the tower in reverse, they knew it too. You both knew, like the way the relationship was was not healthy. But it feels like they see something in you still or in your connection that it's not worth throwing away fully. It can be salvaged, okay? And I feel like this person is waking up. They're having that new vision here with the hangman. Um, that they were the common denominator in relationships falling apart in their life in the past. They may have played the victim a lot. Um, they were selfish. Maybe they were, uh, they, they feel like other people they were involved with were like traitors or only wanted money from them or only wanted like things from them. Never really saw, like, I just feel like this person's having... I, it's not so much like a major wake-up call, but it does feel like um, like they're reflecting and seeing now. Yep. Okay. So this just keeps re this just keeps going on and on. They were just either love bombing or communicating to the opposite sex all the time, and just a lot, a lot of talking. Um, I just kind of feel like it just feels it things with other people they would get involved with would go very quickly and fast but it would then it would just die out just as fast and that might have even been that way with you as well maybe they treated you the same way they were treating others and it just for some of you just kind of left this feeling of like well this isn't really going anywhere this person, I'm not the only one they do it with, and they were talking to other people, and I didn't feel like a priority, or I didn't feel special. You know, they were juggling me and maybe others. Hmm, not nice, but sometimes it happens, and I feel like this person is waking up to the fact that all for all their juggling and all their skill uh, as being like a professional juggler, it's all like people with no faces, one dime a dozen, one after the other, nothing sustainable, no deep partnership, nothing. <sighs> Coming home at night by yourself, this person would come home and they would get in bed after they've been maybe spending a week juggling others and then looking for you, wondering where you are, looking for you, Virgo thinking about you because you've just pulled away. You just mentally retreated. Okay, so there's definitely competition coming up here. Okay. Okay, three of wands. Virgo, this kind of feels to me like you're hoping, I feel like after this struggle that you are going through within yourself at this time, um, because I just feel like some of you listening are having some internal struggles. Maybe you're having struggles with other people or with this person or family. Um, I kind of feel like your hope is that 
you can maintain hope. <laughs> it's like it, you're kind of in this place where I feel like, oh my gosh, Virgo, I just feel like I want to cry for you. You want teamwork, Virgo. You are hoping that you'll be able to expand. You're hoping there won't be... I'm just hearing something to do with struggle with travel. There's uncertainty also. You know, I, I'm just feeling a sense of change and a need for realignment. There's a sense of inconsistency and you're seeking freedom and maybe even the opportunity to travel and I don't know what exactly that means for some of you um, to expand to see further uh, um, at, you know look across the water and, and be able to see the horizon out there in front of you you know it's kind of like they just said Virgo's trying to see the forest for the trees is that the term? Rather than just looking at the trees, looking at the bigger picture. You're hoping that you're going to be, uh, it feels like you're hoping there'll be an answer. That the, that the why something occurred, why things happen, why they keep happening, why these the struggle and the drama in your life keeps happening. Yeah, you're looking for peace, four of swords energy. You just want to rest, Virgo. You just want peace. You don't want this fucking drama. <laughs> I mean, Virgo, you're just like, listen, I could just turn on the TV and get drama. I can watch right there on Netflix. I can watch my programs. I watch my shows and get all the drama I need. But you don't want it in your personal life. And a lot of you have made a decision or will be making a decision in December to mentally remove yourself from the struggle. And I kind of feel like that has a lot to do with some kind of relationship that somebody has not been treating you well. And somebody, a third party, maybe it's me or somebody else in your life in December is going to be telling you this. Don't go back to this person or be careful if this is a new person coming in. Just be careful. I just feel like you get some kind of warning. But I feel like the person who's telling you this is looking out for your best interest because they don't want to see you get hurt. Okay? You have to use your intuition here. If somebody is coming back, you need to be able to tell if they're coming back out of ego because they're a control freak or if they're coming back out of heart because they they feel the pain they don't want to lose you they don't they still think that something can be salvaged here it feels to me like this person is coming back out of heart as i said because the three of swords is here Yep, and they're going to be communicating with you. And they're really excited. I don't, like, they're excited to talk to you, Virgo. You may not be excited to talk to this person, but they're not thinking about how you feel. They're thinking about how they feel. This person has, like, a thing for you. Like, they're smitten. They have a crush. You know, like, that spark is still there for them when it comes to you. Let's take a look at the outcome. Okay. This person's coming in with commitment. They are. It feels to me like they're making a decision here. They have a new view, new perspective, and they want to come in and make that commitment here. And that's what we have, engagement. Some of you might be getting an engagement. They may propose. Okay, the Three of Pentacles, that's the marriage card. That's teamwork. That's working together. And the Knight of Wands, just like here, I'm telling you, this person is coming in with a fire lit under their ass for you. They have such a strong passion for you. Okay, yeah, they're taking a risk here, the fool. I feel like a lot of you, listen, some of you Virgos are definitely, this person is going to take a risk, and you are. For some of you, you may give this another chance because they're coming in correct. Now, for some of you, I know, you can come in correct all you want. I made my decision. When Virgo's done, Virgo's done, and that's fine. Whatever you got to do for you, Virgo, 
I certainly will never tell you what to do. You know, I'm just giving these messages, stories here. But you're an adult and you are able to discern, you know, if someone's coming in correctly with you or not, or even if you want it or not. All right, let's take a look and see here. I feel like you're getting, uh, somebody's coming in to make that committed offer. They've had some kind of, you know, when you have a hangman, that's major arcana. You can't change that energy. The minors, yeah, that can be changed. But this person is coming in with the major. I just kind of, uh, you know, I just get a sense here. This person has gained some super uh, knowledge. They've, they've become very wise to themselves, self-aware. And they're going to come in with and make that sacrifice for both of you. All right, let me see what your moon pie messages are here, Virgo. Okay, self. Take a look at yourself. Add up the pros and cons of you. Balance things out. Reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are, as well as those in your heart. Acceptance is key. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat others up, Virgo. Live and let live. All right. I just wanted to give that like a real quick shuffle here. Hold on. I don't know. Something told me to shuffle it. Okay. So there's definitely an energy here about self, your self-respect, loving yourself can also draw people in. And I feel like for a lot of you, it can also draw past lovers back in as well. Maybe in a relationship when you should have been loving yourself and you weren't, you've learned. Let's see what else here. Okay, some of you, you got a girls' night out coming. Take it. If you get an invite to go out, male or female, guys' night out, whichever. If you get an invita invitation to go out with some friends um, or family members or what have you, go for it. Definitely go for it. That's going to do you a world of good. Okay, you've got some money in the bank. There's money coming to you. Might be a direct deposit or... Maybe an unemployment check or a stimulus check or um, something in, around the holidays. It could be a gift is coming for you. Okay, an emotional wish is being granted as well. Okay, Virgo. So this one emotional thing that you've been wanting and hoping for is definitely coming in. It's going to be granted. Your wish will be granted. Okay. So you also have illusion. Although there may not be enough light to see ahead right now, and the shadows may frighten you, only believe in what you can see and not what tricks your minds may be playing on you. Trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation, but remain still until more information is available. Take caution. Okay. Okay, you also have new chapter. Okay, for some of you, look back on the past chapter one more time, if you must, but only to help write the next new pages of your book. So somebody, some of you might be writing, maybe you're writers, you're going to write a book or start writing a book or finish a book that you've been working on. Um, you're ready for that new chapter to start writing that. That could be very specific. It could also be very um, symbolic. Some of you um may need to get out there and travel explore the world some of you need to explore space or deep sea dive or just explore the psych more the psyche some of you here you've got learn meet new people live your best life and allow the past to cycle out a new journey is ahead take someone with you or go solo but it's time to go all right we're go. let's see what you are messages from your person are here hidden truth oracle messages for virgo i know i messed up everything i will wait for a sign from you i love you unconditionally virgo you came closer than anyone I left you, Virgo, before you could leave me. Some of you were struggling with that, that that happened. This person might have just, you didn't know what happened. 
and you got over it. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I feel you, even though we are apart. I replay our conversations over and over. And I wish things could be different because I want to feel that way with you again. I love you, Virgo. Okay. Well, I do feel like you've got somebody coming in here. You know, they're ready. They're coming in ready. They've had some kind of like <laughs> awakening of some sort about your connection, about you, about this love, about the way they've been living their life. Let's see what your messages of love oracle cards say. What else does Virgo need to... Okay. Well, that's point blank period. Clear as day. Past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. So this is about a past situation. Forgiveness. Okay. For some of you, there is somebody new coming in that you either you're already talking to or could it be a potential lover um, that you might be sharing what you went through in a past relationship and this new potential lover could be the one who's telling you forgive this person but just beware that most likely they're not going to change because this is how these types of people are they could be just you know this new person could be telling you that your past person is just being jealous or they're controlling or they're coming in to get you back in the sack and and try to have that control because they don't want to lose you but at the end of the day virgo everybody's got an opinion you have to make up your own mind okay you have to make up your own mind if you are already in concurrence with someone new giving you this advice and you're like eh, it's not a problem then you do have new love coming in okay in december and for others you may decide to give somebody else another chance but forgiveness is here forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward either away from someone or move forward together okay True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. All right. True love, I don't feel like true love means only one love. True love means, you know, I feel like we can have true love with a lot of people when the love feels true. Okay. Um, so you could have had a, a sense that, that a person from your past was your true love, but somebody else could be coming in who could also be bringing you true love. Right? So I don't really take, I know some of you are like, okay, well, true love, well, is it the new person or the past? It could be both because it's just describing which kind of love. It doesn't mean it's only designated to one person ever in your entire life. And people always say, well, my one true love. Well, at the time, yeah, you won't probably once said that. And then a lot of you got involved with somebody else and you're like, but wait, this is my one true love. It doesn't negate the other. It just means that True love are people who are coming in and bringing you the truth about their love for you. Okay. Okay, marriage. Relationship is moving towards a sacred union. So, you know, Virgo, with somebody new, yeah. And with a past person, yeah. You know, it's all up to you. You're not at the whimsy of the cards. You're not at the whimsy of... You create your own fate. Virgo. So whatever it is that you want, yes, you can have it. You can have marriage with someone from the past. This person is coming in, having that wake up call. Definitely. If you want it, I see them coming in with that, bringing that offer to you. Honestly, I don't see this person, you know, when the knights come in, they, they do tend to bring, um, messages. Okay. Um, Knights go forth with intent. So there is intent. Um, I don't feel like this person is going to come in um, and just like get down on one knee. I, I don't feel like they're like that. But I do feel like there may be a conversation where they just tell you they're ready to go to the next level. Okay, so there may be some type of communication coming from somebody about that. Okay. All right. <laughs> I was just looking. You know what? They're just telling me. 
I'm going to get pull a couple of extra cards here and then I'm going to do the um, your dates and initials. So stay tuned for that. Let me see. What are these other, Spear has other messages here. What are these other messages for Virgo? Okay. Hmm. Nine of Wands energy. Hesitation. Stand back, stand back. Hesitation. Holding back. Boundaries up. Okay. Seven of Wands. And the nine of wands so there's definitely an energy here of defensive virgo i feel like this message here is that you need to be on guard <laughs> king of cups showing up here again with it feels like you need to just protect yourself and be on guard with a king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy Okay, male or female, wherever they have those placements. <clears throat> yeah, you need to be confident. Don't show your insecurity, Virgo, with someone. Okay. But you're also being asked here, you've got a new adventure, a new beginning happening with this person. Take a leap of faith. This person's going to take a leap of faith. Um, temperance here. Somebody's balancing out some mental anguish. Could be you. I feel like things are going to work out here. This is divine timing. But I feel like you're hesitant. You might have gone around and around with someone in the past. And I feel like you, you might have had some mental struggle um, or felt like just mentally restricted in this connection i feel like there's going to be peace and harmony things are going to balance out between the between you and this person but i don't feel like you should just jump right in i feel like wait and see if this person is coming in and that they are going to confidently take that leap of faith with you and actually do it and that's what i feel like you need to step back um and just hold your ground not jump back in i feel like this person might have had depression or anxiety um or they were dealing with um uh, i just feel like maybe they had author authority issues issues with authority um and control power okay um this person might have tried to control by playing the victim or the poor me thing, like damsel in distress on the railroad tracks, or I don't know. I, can't, I remind me to look that up. What is a male damsel? I mean, we got dame or person. I let's say a person. Look, at, it's like railroad tracks, and they're just like trapped there, so they're looking for a rescuer. Okay, they might have used that as a way of controlling, playing the poor me. You know, I need help. <laughs> I need you, you're the only one that can fix my problems. This is just as like a self-imposed prisoner, okay? This is just someone who did it, does it to themselves and it feels like maybe they have some mental issues. I feel like harmony and balance is coming back into their, in with them. Okay, these are just extra messages. All right, oh gosh, I feel like I have to sneeze now. Let's see what your other messages are here. Let's get your dates and your names, see what names come up. Oh, okay. Everybody ready for the holidays? I'm so excited. I got my Christmas tree up. Just about finished Christmas shopping and I have to, well, I have some baking to do, but I'm not gonna do that until couple of more weeks so hi everybody in the chat hello my mods how are you my mod squad and anyone if you made super chat payment thank you so much for your donation okay okay 
Virgo. Let's see what your dates and initials are here. All right, July 5th, or someone was born 1975. I have to sneeze. Oh. Okay, someone born on the 10th. You just gave me the 10th. Okay, initials P. We have A, we have M. Someone born on the second, we have an H. Someone's born on the fourth. Okay, the 23rd, the 24th, birth date. Mm, we have May 3rd, we have February 4th. March 1st. Uh, someone's birthday is on the 13th. And the 6th. If you hear these dates, okay, these birth dates, it's just a message that these, uh, that these are specifically for you, but even if you don't hear them, don't think that the messages aren't for you. Okay, I'm hearing someone's... Oh, okay. Somebody likes to jog or is jogging as they're listening to this right now. Okay. Or running. Jogging or running or walking. Exercising, maybe. Okay, someone's got a PhD or is in the process of getting a PhD. Mm -hmm. um, someone is packing right now. Packing, packing up. Let's see, someone's born in, all right, I've got some 1960s birthdays here. 63, 65. 67. Somebody is 34, between 34 and 35. Um, hmm. They just said arrow. Someone shooting an arrow or drawing an arrow, doodling something with an arrow. Okay. Um, somebody's got a PlayStation, a PlayStation, something to do with a PlayStation. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. They just said somebody's quarterly taxes are due and you need to pay them. <laughs> like the, I don't know if it's that a payment was made and they didn't go through or something. Make sure that you pay that. <laughs> I just, they just said. I don't know who's watching out for you. <laughs> okay, and then somebody goes to or has been to a theater called The Ritz. Okay, um, something happened in 1987. Maybe there was a graduation or something happened in 1987 that was very significant. I have a sneeze coming, hold on. Oh, it's one of those sneezes that I didn't sneeze. It's just sitting on the edge of my nose there. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting strong 86, 87. I know some of you might not have even been born yet. Maybe that was a year of the birth. Okay. Okay, and some of you... Okay, I'm hearing the ages. 
46, 47, and 48. Okay. And they just said somebody is raking their leaves. Oh, I just heard April 7th is a birthday. Somebody is raking their leaves right now. Or, sh or needs to go rake their leaves. Raking. Oh, um, okay. Somebody has in their phone for their X, they have the letter X. They just have X. I don't know who has that. It's not EX, it's X. Or it's something derogatory <laughs> for their, their X's name. Okay. <laughs> And if you have a derogatory name for your ex in your phone, please comment what name you have. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we'll all get a kick out of that. I bet it would be funny. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I, I just, well, I will tell you I was hearing ex-asshole. Ex-asshole. I don't know. Ex-asshole. All right. Let's get your charms. See what your charm messages are. All right. Oh, what the heck is a dolphin with a ball? Dolphin with a beach ball. How cute. A dolphin with a beach ball. We have an onyx flower, black onyx. We also have a bunny rabbit. Monkeys and bunnies, watch out, tricksters and playfulness monkeys and bunnies i just felt an urge to you guys i know you think that my charms are in here right guess what i'm gonna show you something they're in, also in here look at them all i've got hundreds okay all right somebody's name is grace Okay, we also have honeybee and ballet shoes and we have a palm tree. Okay, so let me just tell you, somebody here has ballet shoes or has a child with ballet shoes or was a ballet dancer or wanted to be or just was a dancer. And I'm also feeling... Um, Honeybee, like a honeybee charm necklace is what I'm feeling. Okay. Um, you also have 100, well, you've got money with a 100 on it. And I did say somebody was getting money. You might be receiving 100 or hundreds. This is American money, so it's American dollar. Um, some of you are going to find it. You're going to find money, like you're walking down the street or in a coat, like a hundred, a hundred, a hundred bill, whatever, whatever. It's a big, a big chunk of money or some kind of a, uh, a bill of some sort, like extra money in a coat or on the side of the street. That's kind of like a gift coming for you. Um, that you're not going to be able to return it because it's going to be money. You're not going to be no know where to return it. We also have another swan. So we do have some animals. We have bees, rabbits, monkeys, swans, and a dolphin with a beach ball. Now, there's something here with these animals. <laughs> okay. Some of you met someone... Um, at like a, a zoo, I feel. I know it sounds so cliche because I'm saying animals with balls, but animals with balls. <laughs> I'm, I'm so immature. Um, but there's something here. I'm, feel, I'm picking up a lot of ch childhood, child vibes here. Okay. So somebody's the year of the rabbit, the year of the monkey. Okay. I definitely have to say that. I don't know what year that would be for you guys. Um, Somebody calls someone honey all the time, or did. Okay, this swan feels to me like if you, okay, 
I just saw like a ride, like an amusement park ride with swans. I'm not sure what that means, but like that vision. And I'm also picking up like um, somebody here has gone from feeling like an ugly duckling descended into this beautiful swan, swan-like energy. It's very, it's gorgeous. Like it's beautiful energy. Or, um, oh, okay. They're giving me with these ballet shoes. Is something to do with swans? I don't know if there's like, is there a connection between swans and ballet? Wasn't there something to do with a swan and ballet? Uh, are the gracefulness of a swan as a dancer? I don't know. I'm not getting an image. I kind of am getting an image, but I don't know. Somebody leave me a comment. There's something to do with a ballet. Ballet and a swan. And then, of course, with grace. I'm feeling grace, gracefulness. That's what I said. And, and then, Or maybe the name grace. Okay, and this onyx flower with a diamond. So somebody's getting or received a black onyx flower with a, a a very tiny crystal clear diamond in the center could be a gift somebody's getting for the holidays or a birthday or giving or picking out for someone hold on all right no that sneeze is like right there it just doesn't want to come and then the palm tree something to do with a palm tree or someone lives near palm trees i'm just seeing christmas palm tree as well <laughs> a Christmas palm tree I've never seen one but I'm just picking that up like I have this image I just see a Christmas tree with Christmas light or a palm tree with Christmas lights all over it like in a neighborhood <laughs> all right you guys so those are your messages I'm gonna leave them there for you I hope you enjoyed it and again um, please click the link to my booking site because I am going to be offering specials for the month of November. I did the Black Friday special and that filled up so quick, like within hours um, for the whole day was booked out that I absolutely like, I had people messaging me. Some of you guys were like, how do I book it? How do I, cause they couldn't get in. And I was like, it just filled up so fast. So I'm gonna open more of those. So you guys all get an opportunity to um, like Cyber Monday. I think I'm gonna have a Cyber, Cyber Monday $100 30-minute reading um, coming up for this week, but I'll try to see if I can spread it out throughout the week so you guys all can get a chance to book. That's a huge, that's like $50 off that reading. All right, you guys, so hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being here. Remember, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video if this resonated and if you enjoy my channel so you can be alerted when I show up every night. <laughs> all right, you guys, thanks everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.